Father Lord, thank you for your message today. Thank you for waking us up this morning. Thank you for keeping us alive. Thank you for being God all by yourself. I appreciate you, O oh God, to bless your holy name. Thank you for being God all by yourself because without you, Oh, I don't know where would I be in dead and forgotten, but you are worthy to be praised. You are many potent, many science, many great. You are the only one of his who will adore you and reverence your name, sir. There is none like you. You are holy and righteous God. You are the only one, only one that can keep me going. You are my strength. You are my power. You are my everything. I bless your holy name. Thank you for the here that is listening to this and thank you for opening our heart of uh, of uh, and here to hear you spiritual and be the hearer and the doer of your word in jesus much less name i pray this prayer amen the paragraph today will come from luke chapter 9 verse 23 to 25 again luke chapter 9 verse 23 25 we read thusly then he said to them all if anyone will come after me he must deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me for whoever wants to save his life will lose it but whoever lo loses his life for me will save it what good it is for a man to gain the whole world and yet lose and forfeit his very self my topic today will be, you must identify completely with Christ's message. You must identify completely with Christ's message. Um, Christ's message overall is just the word of God, the gospel of Jesus Christ. Christ's message, that's what I mean by you must identify completely, completely means everything about Christ. So you, there's no way you can make it, uh, uh, you come to uh, make a, a choice and choose this and don't choose that and take this and leave that. No, you must identify completely with Christ's message. That means in, in dying in Christ, you must identify. You carry your cross. Uh, how do you carry your cross? Uh, that means in the in your time of struggle, you are still saying Christ. In the time of uh, your problems, you are still mentioning Christ. In the time of your tribulations and, and the affliction of your life, in all the process of your life, good days and bad times, bad times and good times, you are putting Christ as your center of your life. Actually, you, you are automatically following Christ by imitating his life and obeying his commands because that is the only way you can be able to identify completely with him. And then nothing material we compensate for the loss of eternity because you are looking forward to eternity. You are looking forward to heaven. Hey, y'all. Let me pause right here. Heaven is real and hell is real. Jesus Christ is real and Satan is real. So you have to make a choice to completely identify with Christ's message so that you can have the power to fight Satan and all his uh, 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 demonic powers, all these little demons that he used, so that you can go now and grab the power of Jesus Christ to fight this sinful nation, to fight this sinful nature, to fight this sinful nature called Satan flesh, to fight this sin, this sin, this sin that, that separates us from Christ, to fight it. Because then when you do that, you find out that material things can never compensate with going to heaven. Material things of this world, the wealth things of this world, the firm, the, the, the standing on the, uh, 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 and showcase yourself on the pulpit or whatever. The pulpit of this world is the secret ministry of Christ that he keep me. And uh, when he showcases himself, the, then he become a joyfulness in heaven because that is the gain. That is the, that is the, 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 the running that 
were running today. The running we're running today. If you run today as a believer, as a Christian, and you don't have a goal to go to heaven, you are running in vain. You are running in vain. And that is not your portion in Jesus' name. Christians follow their Lord by imitating his life and obeying his command. To take up the cross meant to carry your own cross to the place where you will be killed. Many Galatians had been killed that, that, that way by the Romans. Apply to the disciples. It meant to identify completely with Christ's message. Even if it is men dead, even if it is men living, even if it is men sickness, even if it is men poverty, even if it meant hatred, even if it meant hurt, even if it meant tears, even if it meant things that uncomfortable place, you have to be identified completely with Christ's message. We must deny ourselves desire to use our time and money our own way to choose our own direction in life without regard to Christ. I'm going to say this again. <laughs> wow. For you to be able to, to identify completely with Christ's message and the other, in, other way, in other words, for you to carry your cross like Jesus said in this part of the Bible when he's teaching his uh, disciples about to leave and he's teaching them the, 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 the rules and the things they should do for you to carry your cross, my brothers and sisters. That means you must deny your self desire to use your time and money your own way and to choose your own direction in life without regard to Christ. Following Christ is costly now. Following Christ is costly now, but in the long run, it is well worth the pain and effort. Amen, somebody. Following Christ is not easy. It's very costly. Oh, yes. When you follow this Christ, oh, you'll be hot along the road. You will feel pain along the road. In fact, you'll be like Jacob along the road. You might have some limping in your spiritual life. I don't know about you, but your suffering and pain can, can squeeze some anointing out of you. Oh, Masu Kendele, when you, when you stand and follow this way of Christ, it's costly now, but I tell you, in the long run, it will worth the pain and effort. That is why Isaiah said, He that waits on the Lord, he that waits on the Lord, they will soar like an eagle, they will walk, they will not be weary, and they will they will they will soar like an eagle. People are willing to pay a high price for something they value. Is it any surprise that Jesus will demand this much commitment from this? followers and from me and you there are at least three conditions that must be met by people who want to follow jesus we must be willing to deny ourselves number one to take up our cross number two and to follow him anything else is superficial lip service hmm three things Three important things. These are the least three conditions that you have to understand as a believer, as a people of God, as a living person, as a living human being. These are the three least things you must at least do for Christ to follow Jesus. You must willing to deny yourself. How do you deny yourself? There are sins that you can commit. There are things that you just can't do anymore when you become a, a follower of Jesus Christ. There are things you see, you look away. You as a woman, you look away. You deny yourself. You kill your flesh. You crucify your flesh. You fast and pray and read the word and continuously to go. Even when you feel good, even when you feel bad, in sickness, in pain, in poverty, in struggle, in affliction, you deny Deny yourself to take up your cross. You take up your cross. You take up your crosses and to follow him. To follow him anytime, any day, anytime you are called. Anything less is this is superficial lips service. It's fake. If this present life is this present life is most important to you, 
you will do everything you can to protect it. Isn't that? Isn't that? Isn't that? You will not want to do anything that might endanger your safety, health, or comfort. By contrast, if following Jesus is most important, you may find yourself in unsafe, unhealthy, and uncomfortable places. And what would you do? You will risk death. But you will not fear it because you know that Jesus will rise, you will, will rise, will raise you to uh, to eternal life. You know, even in the midst of it all, in the midst of that situation, in the midst of that struggle, in your lonely journey of life of Christianity, in the lonely journey of life of a believer, in the lonely journey of you are by yourself, thinking of Jesus is with you always and he will show up when he has to. His time is the best. Delay is not denier. Say, so call upon me in the time of trouble. I will answer. He will be there, but you got to call upon him, though. You got to knock at the door. You got to seek him for the kingdom of God. You got to seek him and seek him. Knock at the door. The door will be open. Seek him and he shall be fine. Oh, hallelujah. That's the word of God. Nothing material can compensate for the loss of the eternal life. Jesus' disciples are not to use their lives on earth for their own pleasure. Me and you, believers, oh, come on, brothers and sisters, we are not in this in this, in this this uh, world to live in this earth for, the, for our own pleasure. We should spend our living serving God and his people. That's what it is. That is what it is. Here it is. You should serve God Spending your life serving God and his people. Now Luke audience, uh, Luke Greek audience will have find it difficult to understand a God who could die just as Jesus. Jewish audience would have been perplexed, perplexed uh, by a Messiah who will, who will let himself be captured. Both will be ashamed of Jesus if they did not look past in his dead to his glorious resurrection and second coming. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What are we doing today? We are waiting for the second coming of Jesus. Christ. His second coming is near, my brothers and sisters. His second coming is here right now. So don't give up. Just keep on keeping on. Keep on going. Keep on hanging in there. Don't throw in the towel because the second coming is glorious resurrection of second coming. Then they will see Jesus not as a loser, but as the Lord of the universe who through his death brought salvation to all people all people all of us everybody he didn't choose whether you are black or blue or green he brought salvation Jesus death brought salvation to all people even the muslim even the pagans he brought uh, salvation to all people but that salvation is like a table buffet he has made the table you just have to go make a choice and pick up your salvation that's what it is i said it before you have to go and plug it to your power source and receive your salvation receive the power of the holy ghost if you don't go and get it that's where you end where you are but when jesus said some will not die without seeing the kingdom he was referring to 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 some of his disciples like peter and john who will witness the transfiguration eight days later or in a in a broader sense to all who will witness the resurrection and the ascension or to all who will take part in the in the spread of the church after the pentecostal jesus listen listeners were not going to have to wait for another future messiah the kingdom was among them hallelujah we're saying the kingdom of god is at hand the kingdom of god is here but then they were having the kingdom of god them with them dwelling with them but some of them are so foolish and ignorant they didn't have no idea because they know so much they're so highly educated they are doctor quote unquote they have their name on the on the top of the list they were highly recognized they have the firm and they have that government four figure job they have money they have money dollar the power the power they have that as far as that concerned that is their power in fact if you don't have money and if you don't have a good job you will never be recognized in this society you look like a fool if you have anointing and you don't 
don't have money you have uh, you don't have connection you just like a fool to them they look at you uh, and look at your anointing and talk you down and hurt you and try to make you feel like you are nothing but i come to tell you i don't know who i'm talking to but i come to let you know and help you out don't let this ignorant uh, fools don't let this ignorance uh, 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 negros and negro make you feel less uh, privileged make you feel less uh, to them because I tell you where you seek the kingdom of God seeking for the kingdom of God when you throw when you carry your cross uh, and carry the cross of Christ like he said that whoever loses his life for me for him will save it when you lose your life in this world when they cost it your face in this world world when they don't put you in their clip because you don't have that job that they needed or you don't have their money to pay to pay to them or you don't have that that connection with them god i tell you my brothers and sisters don't give up because you are not saving your life you save your life when they when you lose it you save it for christ you are doing it for christ so whatever you are doing you think you are by yourself keep on doing it because christ is coming soon he's coming soon and you will never never regret it because my Christ is ever my Christ is great he's a mighty man in battle he say is is the man is the God Jesus that said it all that if you anyone who come after him must carry his cross and he said what does it profit a man to gain the whole world listen a lot of people around you have gained the whole world and they've lost their life already they are losing their life every day they are losing their self every day they don't even know who they are no more all they look at is money all they look at is fame how they look at this wealth of this world the worldly things of this world the sin of this world have taken over them my brothers and sisters i come to help you today don't look at them don't make them make you feel bad don't make them make you look like you are nothing because you don't have the money you don't have that government job that they they look at to, for you to be able to, to to connect with them they look at you like you are nothing because you don't you don't have the connection they have but i tell you the truth the best connection you can have is the connection with Jesus Christ the best connection you can have is the connection with my Heavenly Father the best money you can have is the money with my Jesus Christ the best wet you can have is the wet from the Jesus Christ the best thing you can have is having Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and give up yourself lose your life for jesus christ because your life will be saved don't lose your life for men don't lose your life for women don't lose your life for human being in total don't lose your life for human being in general but lose your life for christ because when you daily daily follow him and take up your cross daily and follow Christ for whoever that will. but if you do that you save your life because what good is it for you to gain the whole world and lose your life today I come to tell you my brothers and sisters you must identify completely with the Christ message what is Christ message lose lose who lose your life for Christ what is Christ message following Christ is costly now but uh, in the long run remember I say remember that it's what uh, the pain and effort you are putting you are going through today oh what is uh, what is uh, identifying completely with Christ's message that uh, salvation is the key that you need to receive salvation and receive Christ as your Lord and Savior you ask me again what is it that you must do to identify completely with Christ's message? I'm happy you ask. You have to go out of your way and throw up your sin and remove your old self and become and take up your new new garment and now like the bible say all things have passed away be all new things have become oh you ask me again what is it i must do joy to identify completely with christ's message you must treat your neighbor as you love your neighbor as yourself you must believe the role model for me treat others the way you want them to be treated by you do or do unto others the way you want 
them to do unto you. How do you identify completely with Christ's message? Oh, that minister that you do for some people, you are doing it for Christ. How can you preach the gospel of Jesus Christ to a hungry stomach person, an empty stomach person? How can you preach the gospel of Jesus Christ and hate your neighbor? That how can you call Christ and love and love the Lord, but you don't even say hello to someone that sits close to you in the church? How can you be mean spirited believer and you call yourself a Christian? How do you do that? Today I come to tell you, I came to beg you. The Lord have sent me to you, to you, to you. I don't know who I'm talking to, but I'm saying to you today, the only way you must identify completely with Christ's message is to live your old way and let God confess your sin and confess your sin and confess your sin and let God open your door of your heart for God mercy to come for God forgiveness to come and stop going into your past stop digging into your past who have hurt you before my mama do this to me my papa do this to me my former husband do this to me my brother do this to me that is why my church people do this to me it's all about you check yourself my brother check yourself my sister and know that God have said it all Jesus have said it all that you have to follow him pick up your cross daily and follow Christ when you pick up your cross daily and follow Christ the road is not on he didn't say the road will be so sweet it is so you're gonna see honey on every road there will be some bitterness there will be some pain there will be some sorrow there will be some disappointment there will be some sickness there will be some struggles there will be some distraction there will be some distress there will be some things that you don't like afflictions will come but in the long run you will never regret what you're doing because uh, following christ is costly now but in the long run it is well worth the pain and effort so don't think is that's why he said in the word of Isaiah the book of Isaiah you will go through the water you will not drown you go through the fire it will not burn you oh come here Shadrach Meshach and Abednego they will tell you about how they went through the fire it didn't burn them oh we read it it looked like it's so easy but I know they went through so many fires before the real fire mm -hmm. and they keep on saying even if the Lord God did not save us even if the Lord God did not show up we will still worship the God of Israel we will still worship the King of Kings and Lord of Lord oh come here Daniel Daniel will tell you when they throw him in the land of Edom he said even if the lion eat me oh I will go to heaven because the road is narrow the road is painful it can be it can be very very costly but then it what it what it because after I said and done heaven is good for open door for you after I said and done open heaven is for you after I said and done Jesus will show up and show out in your life after I said and done everything people think is delay in your life because be, 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 because uh, denying your life because not delay but God showed up and showed it to you so my brothers and sisters I come today to beg you and beg you and beg you and please to your diligence and said come on we must you must identify completely with Christ's message and the conclusion of Christ's message is to receive salvation receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior live your old ways and pick up the new ways of Christ live a Christ life like Christ like life Oh, live a life that God has commanded you to live. Read his word to know what he wants you to do. You can do it by yourself. Plug your life to the power source of Christ, the power source of Holy Spirit, the power source of God. In three persons, there are three persons and, and they will help you. You can do it by yourself. And if you have not received Christ as your Lord and Savior, pray with me.
Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for my sin. Please forgive me. Come into my life. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Now help me to live for you the rest of this life. In the name of Jesus Christ, if you don't have a church home, look for church, Bible Foundation Church, and attend. And read your word, read your word, read your word. And remember the topic, read your word, so that you will know how to identify completely with Christ's message. Because Christ's message started from Genesis is all the way to revelation so don't even go there telling me it's only new testament the whole bible is real all right because the old bad the old testament is the is the, is the word and the and the new is revealing what the old testament have said so the revelation of the old testament is the new testament so if you don't read the old testament how will you know the revelation come on now so the whole bible is important study it if you don't understand seek help seek help there are so many people who are ready to help Pray, learn how to pray, learn how to fast, learn how to set apart your life and carry your cross daily. Carry, carry your cross daily. And you can't do that without some principles of life. And, and those principles of life is read the word of God. Read the word of God. I say read the word of God. Pray, 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 pray. Pray all the time. Pray always so that prayer garment will become your life wear that prayer garment and so that your life will become a lifestyle of prayer you walk and pray pray and become as you go to your, your gas station to fill your gas you become to fill your gas you fill your prayer life you pray if you empty you go to a, a gas station and your gas station become the word of god you go into the word of god you fill your tank of your prayer and you fill it and you pray more the more you pray and you fast and you praise and worship and see what the Lord will do in your life. Things will change. And things will not remain the same. If you go the same road every day to work and uh, you see traffic, you're going to see traffic. But if you change your road, you're going to see that some of the road might not have, have traffic. So my brothers and sisters, change your ways and do right. Change your old ways and get in new ways. And remember, you must identify completely with Christ's message, all Christ's message from Genesis to Revelation. All right? No part of Bible is discarded. <laughs> all part of Bible is very important. It depends on how you read it. And the Holy Spirit is always there to minister to you when you are ready. So don't be the one that will gain the whole world and lose his life. Don't be the one that please people and wrong God. Don't be the one that become a prayer to people and become a pleasing people and don't please God. The best person you should please in this whole world is Christ. And when you please Christ, you will be very wrong with men. You'll be very wrong with people. They will not even come close to you. But when you wrong Christ, you are in trouble. You are in a pit of hell. And I pray for you that pit of hell is not for you. So come out of pleasing men. Come out of doing what men wanted. But do what Christ wanted to do. Do it so that you must identify completely with Christ's message. God bless you as you listen and share this preaching. Share this word. Share it all to your contact in Jesus' matchless name. Amen. Amen. And thank God for the year that is listening. And thank God for the one that's sharing. Amen.